What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of the beginner account series. Now, look at this guys, we are level 43, we've leveled up. This is the account still, uh, as of last episode, but we have completed, and I think I'm in chapter 4 here, but if I just go back, with the book select, I think I can check it out. Book 1, I have completed the Act 5, Chapter 4. Uh, I did this late at night in bed, so I couldn't bother with the um, recording of it and talking over it, but I think I can throw it up on the screen somewhere. Um, just the final parts of me beating the dude, um, it'll play on the screen. But we have some stuff to open because of that, so we are close to a 5 star. Let's just pop the 4 star relic real quick. Because uh, that's something I also had. Where are the... Yeah, we have a Nexus. We have the Bleed Immunity Crystal once more. 5 Star Awakening Gem and a 5 Star Rank Up Crystal. So, let's do the Bleed Immunity one first. Can we get something 2015? That is the question. Please. Nimrod. No. That's not 2015. Okay. Our luck on this account, guys, is really popping off. Now, hopefully the Nexus can give us something, but I'll do the rank-up gem first. Science for the 5, that is not too bad. Waking gem is also science. I mean, again, not too bad. If only we can get a Hulk out of this Nexus crystal, come on. A Hulk would be insane. Anything 2015, though. Iceman is the closest to it, but I don't think Iceman is. I had to pick him because I'm not sure. But I think Iceman is 2016. Let me... Oh, uh, wait. I can check... Where's Iceman? No, that's not Iceman. That's Nimrod. There is our boy Iceman. Tags in bio. Oh, 2017 even. Yeah, okay. It ain't happening. Well, look at this, guys. Four to five science rank up gem. We could use it on Ant Man. We also have an awakening gem, a um, a science one, which I don't think we can use right now, to be honest. Well, yellow jacket, but <laughs> we all know that ain't happening. Um, also getting closer to ranking up Venom. Two tier five basic and one tier five class. So maybe I can do some um, battlegrounds. I'm not sure if we can, I mean, we could just get some of these, but I, I think I wasn't even close. Um, so that'll be a while still. But yeah, that's the account update as of right now. Um, I'm probably going to be auto-completing some more in Act 4 uh, during the day. And I'll be back once more when we have some more stuff to open, some content to be seen and some other cool stuff to show you. So be right back. All right, great. I'm now back home and we can record from this setup again. And as you can see, the hair is off. Um, I'm not bald. It's uh, it's just clean cut. It's buzz cut. It's nice. It's fast. It's um, very easy to work with. But let's get right into the content. We have the candy shop offers that some of them I bought um, with the, well, the candy, of course, the trade collector's candy, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're gonna do the other quests as well for more candy, but as of right now, I've just gotten like so far as we have right now. Um, so we have a five star, a legendary, some four stars, and some other stuff, I think, as well. Maybe I don't know, it'll be in the collection somewhere. But let's start with the four stars. I'm gonna pop the science mystic ones real quick because I want dupes, and I was maybe thinking like a Hulk or something like that, maybe pop up in the future, because that is some champion I really, really want. Uh, and that's why we're popping the five star Mystic Science as well. Hulk is the best option for me right now. I love Hulk, it will be amazing. But let's see, let's see, who do we get? A Loki for the challenge, wouldn't mind, but that is a OG cap, which we're not gonna use, but he is 2015. Yikes. <laughs> uh, that means, I think, that we're ranking up our Ant-Man, which we have a 4-5 um, gem for, from the Act 5.4 completion. Let's see. What can we get? What can we get? Yeah, I mean, it's a 5-star. It's a tube, so it's 6-star shards. I'll take it. I'll take it. It ain't even that bad. Um, An ISO. Love myself some ISO. Great. Do we have anything besides? I think we have some ultimate crystals. Nothing really too fancy. Yeah, let's just pop them. 
make sure we have enough ISO for the Ant-Man. Okay, well, there's two new champs. One of which I guess I didn't have a profile picture for. Uh, so yeah, let's just one more time select the tags to 2015. This is the roster we're working with. Scarlet Witch is already maxed. I want to ascend her. Um, Venom would be awesome if we can rank 30 him sometime soon. But as of right now, Ant-Man is going to rank 5. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. He has some unique uses. So I'm happy with ranking him up. We're just going to throw in everything. I don't really care that much. Um, but if we have science, of course we're going to use it. See if that's actually... It's close to enough. It's close to enough. At least Ant-Man has decent rating. Um, instead of Scarlet Witch with negative rating, pretty much. Great. At least Ant-Man cracks 10k with the mastery setup we have right now. Cool, cool, cool. So he actually, the profile pick, uh, the profile's looking really clean right now. 3565s already. Um, we're gonna go and show you this. So I've done like the di most difficult paths in here, I think. And then this is 53% um, with the summon symbiote. What we're gonna do is actually, I think, hop into a quick battlegrounds match because uh, I guess you guys do like to see those this is the deck right now I'm not using the summon symbiote uh, yeah let's just hop into a match of battlegrounds I haven't really played on this account this season um, except for like two matches or something to get into bronze too so let's just do a match and see what we can take this I'm gonna go through the draft and just start well cut the recording to where we have the fights okay great we have done the selection process I think we're looking decent uh, he has a ascended four star Gro Groot I want to say but uh, it's a Doctor Doom I wish it was Groot yeah he's gonna definitely abuse it I think we can use um, hit monkey to take him out I feel like we should uh, and I'm gonna throw gore on defense we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes it's it's gonna be a tough matchup for both of us but I think going against a four star with a six star because of the uh, four six star balance as well, uh, I should be able to take him out fairly easy. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I see I have the donations up on top still, which I'm gonna change. But as of right now, they'll be there. Bang. Okay. See if I'm not rusty anymore. I will always be rusty, guys. Don't even. Oh, a lot of block damage from the man. Can I still dex? Okay. Come on. Okay, that wasn't as clean as I would have liked it to be. But let's just uh, shoot some bullets, eh? I tried the decks, but my okay. I have a bit of an excuse. My hands are really cold, so like the dashing and stuff doesn't really go that easy. Let's try one more time. See if I can actually dex the special two. There we go. Just have to get back into it. Let's back draft a bit. Bang! Shoot some more bullets. Primal rage. Bleed slows disorient. Dash into me. Thank you. And that should. Take him out without having to dex another special too. I think we win this round, but hey, you never know. I thought he'd use the Civil War Black Panther on defense, but he actually used it on attack. But Gore is kind of a rough matchup anyway, so I don't know. Should have probably been a waste of a round for him. Wow! Sandman, we use Winter Soldier. Blade, we use like Scarlet Witch. Yeah, I think we're looking good. We should be able to clear this. Should be able to clear this. What do we throw down, though? Because throwing down... I mean, we could just throw down the Scarlet Witch. But do we? I'm going to just throw down Jane Foster. Just because she's a 6-star and she has some health on her. Maybe he wants to use Sandman. But I think we can clear the blade before he takes out Jane Foster with Sandman. Maybe. 
If we get some good RNG. If we get some good RNG. We'll see. And maybe Dex is special too. We instantly get some power steal, which is always nice against Blade. Come on, don't throw your specials yet. More power steals, thank you. She is pretty sigged up, so we should be uh, stealing, stealing some powers. Okay, calm down, calm down. I mean, we have willpower, so that's totally fine. Still at 80%, we're looking good. Cold hands, disadvantage, guys. Oh, I wanted to throw the special too, because this just takes a lot of time. Alright. That's kind of annoying, because we had to be fast in order to take Blade out. And the special two can crit as well, so... That kind of hurts the progress. Bang. Okay. Do we win? I think we do. Unless Sandman finishes with a full yellow bar, but we'll see. 45k, that's usually enough in these ranks to kind of like pass through. A couple seconds and then we know the result. Otherwise, I think we throw... Zemo or Winter Soldier on defense, I guess for the health, and then Rocket for attack. If he finishes with a full yellow bar, maybe if he finishes with a full yellow bar, it isn't even enough anymore just because of uh, fight duration. We'll see. We'll see though. Bang, bang, bang. But I'm happy I I'm back with the face cam, guys, um, and for the uh, streams and videos and stuff as well. So. Feels good. Feels good. We'll see. We won though. Perfect. Timed out. Huh. I thought Sandman would deal a bit more more damage to the Jane Foster, but hey. But hey. So that's how Battlegrounds is going right now. It's actually going pretty well. Um, but it lets us buy six of shards, which is perfect. Do we have like I think we can open another six star because of it, right? Oh, I need to be careful. Why am I that dumb? Well, we're opening another five star because of it. I really want that Hulk. <laughs> I should, should save the tokens, but we're gonna have to play some more battlegrounds anyway, so might as well. But this is new, so that's not good. It's not Hulk. It's probably not even twenty fifteen. Yeah, I think that's not 2015, guys. I think that's 2016, maybe 17. It's a cool champ to pull, though. Love, love the Ghost Rider, but yeah. Don't think that's the one we we need. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's check. 2016. Yeah, one year off. Why? Why couldn't you just release Ghost Rider in 2015, guys? That would have been so beautiful. Also, we have 1 million loyalty points. Um, we're never going to hit Paragon on this account, but <laughs> if we did, we could get a loyalty crystal. Um, fun fact, actually. If you play a lot of Battlegrounds on a mini account right now, from Uncollected onwards, you can get 7 star shard through the milestones, which, let's see, you get a 6 star Nexus, you'll get 7.5k, which you need 2.5k more for your first 7 star. Abyss Nexus Selector and Titan Shard. So let's say you do two Battleground seasons, you can easily get a seven star on a mini account, which is insane because that is just a massive jump in power. But hey, um, let me think about what we can do next and then I'll be back. I've actually found a great thing here. Um, in the featured item store, they have this this great great offer which is 1k 6 star shards for well it's not a great offer um but i'm gonna buy it anyway i'm gonna buy two of them so we can open a six star because i'm desperately hunting another 2015 champion um <laughs> let's go guys let's just see what pops up and that's an extra six star i can throw on the thumbnail as well so hey i'm not complaining um anything 2015 
I'm, I would even take a dupe on Jane Foster, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. It hurts, man. It hurts every goddamn time. And we don't even have anything else to rely on. So I'm just gonna be talking through what the plans are next for this account because I feel like it is coming to a certain level where I think everybody knows the gist of the game and the progression is kind of stalemate. Um, what I plan on doing is auto-completing most of Act 4, um, getting the rewards from that, see if I can rank some stuff up, have some fun with some more champions in the next couple episodes, expand the roster a bit, ascension some stuff, and then make a push through Act 6.1. That makes us Cavalier, and I feel like that is the most difficult part of the game, because the quests after Cavalier are more related to skill, um, skill gates and specific champions, which, uh, especially on a 2015 account, I just don't have the availability to, but most of you guys who are just playing the game do. I feel like this is just the most difficult content as of, like, health pools and damage and maybe nodes as well um act seven and eight are at least i find them more fun and x6 is definitely more grueling so i'm gonna be playing through most of act six uh at chapter one and then maybe after cavalier we'll call it a day on this account because i have a thing in mind which uh we can talk about here right now um i'm not gonna be holding it back or whatever I want to do a kind of a speedrun challenge, um, the same stuff that Brian Grant has done, Seaton has done, uh, other MCLC YouTubers have done before, in like how far can I get in like a week. Uh, do like 10 to 12 hour streams every single day for like a week or 8 hour, whatever, you get the gist of it, um, and see how far we can push the account. That said, um, that means that I'm doing like three accounts if I was doing this, that, and the main account. So yeah, I gotta take that into account as well. So probably a couple more episodes of this account, get to Cavalier, and then go to other things. Maybe another new account challenge with a different twist. But for now, I'm okay with playing one account again, um, and that being my main account. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through some progression, and then we'll call it a day. But we're not there yet. So. The next episodes will be fun, will be entertaining, will be opening even more six stars, maybe with units. Um, and I hope to see you all there for it. So enjoy, take care, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.